Hey everyone, my name is Pamela. I'm here to, I'm gonna show everyone how I make my um, okra and tomatoes with uh, bell peppers, onions. And I had to prop this up because my camera didn't, would, didn't reach as low to be able to record for you to be able to see it. All right. And uh, this is my first, first time uh, cooking on the on the channel and welcome to my youtube channel um hope everyone's doing okay and doing fine tonight and i do have the the bag open i use the frozen open um i really prefer fresh that's the old-fashioned school way of using the fresh okra but it's sometimes hard especially here in arizona to find fresh okra so next to fresh it's frozen okay so so what I do is I just dice up my tomatoes and get those going I've learned how to eat a little healthier these days I've been eating a lot of cauliflower a lot of frozen cauliflower and I like bird's eye vegetables usually that's my favorite that's usually what I use is, um, most of the vegetables that I buy are the bird's eye brand because they just taste more taste better just say that tastes better than most of the other, say, off name. Like, you remember the vegetables, Springfield vegetables? Yeah, I remember in the days when that's all we, me and with my family, that we could afford was the Springfield vegetables. Okay, so what I'm doing is just cutting the tomatoes all up fine. And I'm going to put just a little uh, canola oil in the skillet. Just put a little canola oil in the skillet. And pretty much get that going over here and everyone can see how okra's good um this is already this is the pre-cut okra you can also buy the whole the whole okra and you know either cook them whole like that i know in black eyed peas that's in the days that i grew up on whole okra inside of the black eyed peas that's the hookup <laughs> okay all right, it's nice to meet everyone. And as I said, my name is Pamela and um, I look forward to making more videos and just um, everyone, if, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell, the notification bell so that um, you'll know when I go live. All right, so what I'm doing now is just gonna pour the okra in here. It got a little hotter than, so I moved the skillet over here. Got a little hotter than I expected. But I just throw them in the skillet frozen just the way they are. Okay, just want to make sure I can see it. There we go. I'm just going to just put it down a little bit. Yeah, that's better. All right, I'm just trying to learn how to get the lighting together. And I'm fairly new to uh, YouTube. I did put some other videos up. Um which I'll, you know, let you guys know about later, but that's I'm fairly new to YouTube, learning the lighting and learning everything. It's, it's all different. So what I do, I use um, Laurie's garlic salt. I use just a little bit of it inside the okra though. Only a little. And the reason I just, I don't have any measurement cups that I use when I cook. So I put the, and then I take, um, a little bit of red pepper just a little bit now if you have children so you don't want it to be too hot you know if you have children i know my daughters uh two of my daughters when they were small they're uh 50 years old now 50 47 and 46 now but i know when they were younger two of my daughters liked hot food spicy food but i try not to give it to them too often you know so I use just a little bit of red pepper inside the okra. It's very light. Just to give it that zest. All right. And then I use Mrs. Dash, but Mrs. Dash don't have no salt. And this is the garlic herb Mrs. Dash. And so I use this. Use it and sprinkle it in. I try to stay away from salt. I know the garlic salt does have salt. That's why. I in my foods, when I do cook, I use very, very little of it. 
All right, so then I'll throw the, put the tomatoes inside there. In with the okra. Usually we put corn, like you can use fresh corn or canned corn when you make the okra. But today I'm just only using uh, bell peppers, onion, and only tomatoes without the corn. All right, so and I have one huge bell pepper, as you can see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So we'll get this all cut up. And like I said, I'm, um, I live in Arizona. I moved here in 2018. I couldn't afford to pay rent in the apartment. But to get a single, I'm single. I'm single. But I tried to get a single apartment. And it was uh, over $900 for a single apartment, which didn't include the utilities in California at that time. The only thing about that is I work part-time, you know, as a nurse of aid, nurse's assistant, where I care for people, care for in-home, in-home care to care for people. And the only, to, you know, only thing about that is I couldn't afford to pay the rent. And other people, there were so many other people that was going after the same apartment. So far as, you know, this that one apartment, that was in Long Beach. It's a nice area in Long Beach, California. So I had no other choice but to move here to Arizona to be able to afford, to afford the rent and to try to find, you know, a single apartment where at least I can afford the utilities. So that's how I ended up out here in Arizona. And uh, it's very nice here, just as everybody know, in the middle of the desert, and it's hot up in here. It's hot out here, very, very hot. Uh, I initially came out here in 2018, and I was working for, um, just working with an election. They were, the midterm election, it was a company that was, um, I just saw my research, so I look and I find, I'm always finding what type of side hustle I can get besides with my caregiving, you know, the nurse assistant that I do. So I found a company that was, um, Paying seven fifty a week, and you know you have to check into it, make sure that they, the real, real, the real deal. And all I had to do was come. They was going to fly me out to Arizona and pay for my hotel room at the Sheraton Hotel for the first week, and then they give you a stipend. They give me a hundred twenty dollars a week for the towards the hotel as well. And that was to work in the midterm election at that time. It started in August. It was going to be over in November. Okay. So what I did, I went. And I know everybody's wondering why I'm putting bell peppers inside of here. Uh, I have to kind of, stay, uh, just to cut, a, cut back into what I'm doing here. It's because I had to go to kind of like straight vegetables. Um, you know, the doctor told me I'm pre-diabetic. And I'm just finding that out. So, I love onions and I love bell peppers mixed together. And celery. But I'm not putting celery in here. I'm, on, I'm only putting what I like the most. Okay. So, the, to go back to what I was saying, I um, started working with the, called uh, KDAC. That's the name of it. And I was like, I know these people are not going to pay me. $750 a week plus $120 towards the hotel room plus to give you $60 a week towards the gas in your car. So they want to fly me here. And I said, well, next, wait a minute. If you're going to do all that, I'll just drive my car to Arizona. This was in 2018, okay? So I drove here and I was at the Sheraton. Oh, I thought I was rich. Walking out on the balcony. <laughs> you know, the Sheraton's very, very nice. And it was like, it was one huge bed in there and everything was accommodation. They even had a work desk in there for your computer, you know. So what I was to do was to, um, they had an office. They rented out an office. They were legit. I checked them out. They were with the uh, election board, you know. And um, so what I would do, what, I was a recruiter. So what I would do is um, go, go out and recruit people to go door to door to talk about the, the the candidate. It was for senator, you know, at the time. And they were paying them, they, I would give them a debit card. The, pe the company that I worked for, they would uh, 
you know, of course they had the funding. But um, I happened to verify the debit card, you know, with the debit card number and everything. And most of the people didn't have cards. So we give them debit card, they were paying them $95 a day. This is the truth. And that was from August 2018 to the November 5th to the day of the election ended. And I'm going to tell you what touched my heart about that whole little temporary trying to get my hustle good on. Uh, the thing about that was a lot of people, some of them were homeless. It broke my heart. It broke my heart because most of them didn't have cars. But, and they want the money back. So what we would do, me and it was two, it was two other guys that had cars. One of the guys was a director. He pretty much only would take people, some of the people to drop them off in certain areas, only if we were over capacity full. But most of the people, they did not have a car, you know. And I've said it broke my heart because majority of people, you know, they would talk to me while I'd be preparing their, their car, they would interview them. They did a little light background check on stuff like that. And, those people were so happy to get that every week to get paid. And I was so happy to be able to participate in that program. You know? Um, because we don't get that chance that often to be able to help other people. I would literally go to the, out to the street over by the smoke shop. Now, I don't smoke marijuana, y'all. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm funny, y'all. Okay. But I would go over by the smoke shop. I stand in front of the smoke shop. Yes, I did. And recruit people that were going inside the liquor store. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did that. And they and they wouldn't even believe that it was even true. They were like, yeah, right, $95 a day. And I had a little flyers, you know. And they were like, yeah, too good to be true. You know I said it was too good to be true sounds too good to be true than it is well it was true and so you know they verified it, the, uh, the deb, uh, debit card that would have given them with the numbers on the card and having to the sign that they received the card and every friday they would load the money onto the card i need a little more miss dash in here every friday and you talking about being grateful those people were grateful they really weren't so i'm going to only take like three in the back seat. Sometimes I could squeeze four in the back seat. Four and one in the front. And some one of the guys had a SUV. So we take them and drop them off. But the only thing about it, it was so hot. It was so hot that um, it was unbearable for uh, most of the people. They couldn't stay out. They um, we were still paying them though. No, not we. Uh, it wasn't my money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But they were still paying them, the, uh, the, the uh, recruiting company. They didn't know it. We dropped them off and they called an hour, less than an hour later. They would still get paid. But then it was a day that it rained and the street flooded. It was over in Glendale, Arizona. And the street flooded. So the cars on the side of the street were going so fast, you know, driving close to the curb and splashed the water on one of the um, one of the person that was working with us. And he called and I had to go pick him up. And he was soaking wet. You know, stuff like that was happening. But, um, you know, my, my heart, my compassion goes out. I've always, like I said, I've been a caregiver since I was 16 years old. I used to go check on a lady when I was a little younger than that, that was a neighbor. And I didn't know that she had as many children as she did. I was in, at that time, I was in junior high school, you know. And uh, she lived a couple of doors down from where we live. Just a little drop of canola oil, ain't gonna hurt. It smells so good in here, y'all. Hello. <laughs> okay. But uh, I didn't know she had as many grown children as she did, you know. And then um, I used to go sit and talk with her, you know. And years later, this is the truth. Moved from Los Angeles to Pomona. California, my family, my mother, my mother was a single mother, you know, and we lived in all the projects in Los Angeles, every last one of them, literally lived in them, <laughs> okay, so we moved to Pomona, California, and I was working at this company called um, ITT Electronics, and it was doing a soldering, soldering on boards, 
like circuit boards, you know. And I looked up one day, and who showed up? The lady's daughter that I used to take care of. I said, you, I saw, I said, you look so familiar. You look so familiar. That's what I said to her, you know. And she said, you look familiar too. And I said, where do I know you from? Because I'm friendly. I'm going to speak to people. I'm, I do, I'm just friendly in general. I've always been that way. And I said, where do I know you from? And she said, did you ever live on 92nd Street? I said, wait a minute. Are you Meredith? She said, yeah. I said, your mom is the one who used to live a few doors down, Pamela. She said, oh my gosh, she started hugging me. I said, you know what? I met you one time. I met you one time and I've always wondered, did your mom have any other kids? Any children, you know, besides just um, only meeting her the one time. I know you guys wonder what I'm doing. I'm looking for a top to my pot. Okay, so we're gonna do it the old school way. It smells so good in here. We're gonna use my little grill and just flip it over the top. Oh, the aroma is awesome. So, um, I'm just kind of wipe up a little bit here. And so, she said, you look so different now. But it just always stuck with me that, that why didn't you go see about your mother? You know, go over and take care of your mom. I took care of my mom to she to the day she passed, you know. She was in, uh, flew her from Texas. I was living in California. I was working. My three daughters, they were younger then. And I was working. I've always worked, I say. I've always found me some work. And, um, and my mother's health failed. And I had them to fly my aunt. She had, my aunt was the one with the money. I had her to fly her to California. I took care of my mother. Yes, I did. To the day she passed. You know. So, no nursing home kicking off around. You know, as long as I can help her. And a lot of people were mad. A lot of relatives were mad at me like, Oh, you think you're just the savior of the world? One relative did tell me that. You should have let her stay in a nursing home. And I said, no, how would you feel if, you know, you were left in a nursing home? I'm going to let my mother go to a nursing home. I'm not going to do it. You know. So, yeah, I just want y'all to see this. This is the healthy way of me cooking. And it don't take long because the okra pretty much is already cooked. Okay. So what I do, I lower the fire. I start off high, high on the fire. Then you want to lower it down to, I got it on medium high now. You don't want to cook it too fast. Then I put it one line before and just kind of let it simmer. Oh my God, this looks too good. This looks so good, everybody. I'm gonna let y'all see it. Get a little closer look up on it. There you go, okra, tomatoes. Bell peppers, onions, and this is the hookup. You have to try it. <laughs> yeah, so um, so I would like everyone, like I said, um, you know, when you take care of other people and you reach out beyond yourself, it changes. It changed me. It changed my outlook. Just say that. It changed, you know, my outlook. And all through life, even tonight, I've always taken care of. Like I said, now my daughter did grown now, 50 years old, 40, 50, 47, and 46. I always get the ages mixed up. Even with my age, now when you gotta take a calculator, my birthday last year, my daughters were laughing. On uh, October 3rd on my birthday, because I had to get a calculator to figure out how old I was. And my daughters was like, Mom, you, you don't know how old you are. <laughs> All right, so we got this going here. And um, everyone, like I said, if you would um, could like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing some more cooking. It's, um, you know, I have various dishes that I cook. And you give me a minute, I need to find something to put my okra in. I want it to be pretty when I get it up. Yeah, because um, I like to talk, like I said, and I also, I know how to set up the YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to talk about that, too. It's just here you say, find your niche. 
Well, I can't figure out what my niche is because <laughs> I go from one extreme to the other. I like comedy. So as I'll put at the end of the video here, I do have some other, well, try on different wigs. Uh, you can see how I damaged my hair so bad with the super perms and all the gels and and I had to, you'll see how it goes when I had to use my scissors that I craft my gift baskets with. Okay. To um, cut my hair because it was damaged so bad from the perms. And when y'all want to y'all to look at that, it's hilarious. Very, very hilarious. So like I said, this is just, we just want the bell peppers to get soft and the onions and the tomatoes. So now that's done. And we're gonna plate it up in here so everyone can see it. Try to give you a good picture of it here. Let's see. Let me grab a towel. Right. That is awesome. All right, here we go. There we go. So if everyone enjoyed the the uh, okra tomatoes, bell peppers and onions. And I, I like I was asking if everyone would um, subscribe to my channel and uh, let's have some good conversations and everyone have a good day and thank you so much for watching me cook. Bye-bye.